Hey guys and welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena. We're just having a very quick video tonight. Um, just wanted to see if we can get over the line our last couple of quests here um, and get access to these five deck rewards. I really want to see what that's about. Uh, we need to cast two more blue spells or green spells to uh, finish off this quest. So uh, obviously I have been playing a few games this afternoon um, trying out our new rogue mill deck um, so I've thrown quite a few rogue cards in there I just thought we'll give it a go um, hopefully it synergizes I am still running Ashiok just because I think if the game gets deep enough um, Ashiok can really help with our mill situation um, looking here we've got three lands one rogue a couple of counter spells so We'll keep, all we need to do is cast off like three spells, um, two of them blue and we'll get across the line. So let's throw out our Merfolk Wind Robber. Next turn we can drop a swamp and then we can counter if we need to. I'm curious if they're running straight red or not. This is ranked. Uh, we've rank, like, ranked up to bronze rank 2 as well uh, in the last few games. Uh, not the black I was hoping for, but... Uh, we're going to attack. We'll mill a card as long as this hits. Uh, that doesn't tell us much. It was just a mountain. Unless they kept a one lander, I hope that'd be good for us, but otherwise, uh, no. It's kind of looking pure red here. Um, cowards can't block warriors. Choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. Intimidates, gets plus one, plus one. Target warrior gains trample until end of turn. Um, I think we just anti-cognition that away. Oh, that's good for us. Um, but I think we just drop an island here. We're going to miss out on two potential mills there. Yeah, I think this is pure red. We can play that on their turn. And it also leaves mana up for our counter spell here. 1-1, uh, one, one, first strike haste. Whenever further night Fervent Champion attacks, another target attacking knight you control gets plus one plus O. Oh. Uh, yeah, have it. No wasting the counter spell on that. Uh, pass to attackers. I'm gonna put a stop on that end step here. That's got haste, of course. Um, yep. Yep, fine. They got double strike or something. Uh, so this is their end step. We're gonna summon our soaring thief. A soaring thought thief. He's gonna do a lot of heavy lifting for us with, in terms of milling. Okay, I've got no lands to play. We do have enough mana up for our counter spell though, which is nice. Um, is the one damage worth it? That's first strike and haste. I could leave this out to block. I think we'll do that. We're not going to attack with it. The one damage isn't going to make that much difference. And what we really wanted to do is to be milling cards. And when this hits, it'll mill another card. It'll take him up to six in the graveyard. We really want to get to eight in the graveyard. Yeah, this is just mono red. Because when we get to eight in the graveyard, all our rogues get plus one plus zero, so that's a two one and that's a two three. And that'll be. Well, that'll come out as a four three if we draw a swamp. Yep. 
go cave. I wonder if they're going to play anything big this turn. The uh, biggest issue I run into with this deck is that there's no draw in it, really, from our side, other than Ashiok. Um, so if we get sort of stuck on draws, then... Uh, equal devotion to your red, whenever an axe or another non-token creature you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one Sato token, that's going bye-bye. Takes him up to 7 in the graveyard too. What we really need is a swamp here. Yeah, block that. It's first strike, but who cares. Um... One more land and we can play this. Unfortunately, we just did not draw what we needed to draw there. What we could do is sack this for a draw, but I think we're not at that point where we need to do that just yet. We've got a little bit of playing around we can do here. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Thundering Rake. There's nothing I can really do about that either, unfortunately. We just have to resolve it. That's a good turn for them. Really wish I'd drawn a Swamp. Um... Okay, next. Uh, next to blockers, and then we are going to Zareth Sand this. Use the ability on him. Put him back in. He's going to attack, and we're going to get to summon from their graveyard something nice. Uh, what have they got in here that's decent? Annex looks like the best there, unfortunately. Or and crush a giant, I guess. So at least that's got something on the board for us. Obviously, we don't have a flying anymore, but. We draw a swamp, we could get that out. So we have the 2 2 haste, which is all well and good. Uh, he's got two matter up. I'm guessing that's for a shock or something. Am I willing to trade that? Oh, it doesn't matter, he gave up. I probably was willing to trade it, but I was worried he could kill it outright without it blocking. So. Alright, that fills out our quests. We got... Oh, hello. Simic Combine. Some green, blue, very nice. Boros, white, red, Golgari, black, green. Is it? And Orzov. Very nice. And what's this? We just unlocked Angel of Destiny. Five mana, two six, flying, double strike. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you and that player each gain that much life. In step, if you're at least 15 life more than your starting life total, each player Angel of Destiny attack this turn loses the game. Well, that's interesting. So instead of killing your opponent, you heal them and yourself, and if you get to 35 life and attack with Angel of Destiny, uh, then you just win. That's an interesting win condition. Very interesting. Alright, so let's just open the couple of packs that we got. And then Rising. 
uh, into the royal kicker to return target non land permanent to its own hand. If it was kicked, draw a card. Scry two, then draw a card. Or cleric. Cargan war leader. Support the grave. And Nahiri's litho forming. Oh. We'll have a proper look at these shortly. Um, barrage. Oh, I've got one of those already. Oh, hello. Legendary Elemental. Omnath. Landfall. An ability triggers when a land enters the battlefield under your control. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. If it's the first time this ability has resolved this turn. If it's the second time, add four mana. If it's the third time, Omnath deals four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker you don't control. Wow, that's quite a board nuke, but it's four color. That's interesting. That'd be interesting to get that to work. You have to be summoning a lot of land. Anyway, let's just have a look at the uh, our new cards. Okay, that's not the best way to do that, is it? Um, let's just go. Alright, it's going to show us everything new. Very cool. Alright, so we are now in constructed bronze tier 2. Very nice. And the season ends in 10 days. Okay. So we'll play a little bit more each day and then see. Hopefully, we're getting better. We might mix it up a little bit. I might um, have a think about, I'm just going to delete these decks, but I will have a think about um, different, actually that's going to go as well, have a think about some different decks we can play, some different combinations, and uh, just for a bit of variety so we're not playing mill all the time. But uh, thanks for joining me again for this short video. I just wanted you guys to be there when uh, we got uh, that over the line. So uh, make sure you drop a like on the video, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next time.